So, uh, but I did want to do something because we do uh, talk about, uh, we kind of focus on American soccer and American football on this show. And there are a lot of fashionable players that play in Major League Soccer. And you do talk about, uh, you talk a little bit about Major League Soccer, but it's a predominantly about uh, so European football. Uh, so I did want to just show you, I have a couple photos of, uh, and we can do, I mean, you, uh, you were on America's ne Next Top Model, right? You can give <laughs> a couple, a couple uh, uh, maybe suggestions or just, uh, or critique uh, of, of some of the players. And I think, I think it'll be a, a good start to, to show uh, this side uh, to Ameri the American... Uh, How to up that game. Yeah, exactly, to the American footballer. So, uh, all right, so let's go, let me, let's get this going. Uh, uh, go play for me, here we go. So I call it, it's the MLS... ML Yaz, bish. <laughs> That's right, ML fashion, but I call yes. it ML, ML Yaz, bish. Okay, so we, we're having, having a good time. We're having fun with Having it. a good okay. time already. So, ML right. Yaz. So Simon Doonan... Uh, so these are a couple players from FC Dallas, and uh, I don't, you know, I don't know where we can, I don't know how much critique or whatever. We could just. I have to say, what are we thinking I'm, first? Yeah, yeah. I'm first totally thing. impressed. They look just like um, European players. They could, you could be photographing players in Manchester. I mean, okay, they look well that's really not groovy. true. If you could see the suns out in this photo, so that can't possibly. <laughs> So, yeah, um, a, clearly a photoshopped photo of Manchester. Well, I think now it's such a global culture. They can look online. They say, oh, yeah, yeah I can yeah, wear yeah. that. You know, that's part of soccer culture. I'm actually very gratified to see that. I see a Louis Vuitton handbag. There's it's just handbags. There's just plenty of that. some handbags. This yeah. Is another FC Dallas player. This is, uh, I believe, Rito Ziegler. Uh, uh, wow. So, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that taller person let him borrow his shirt. I mean, that is <laughs> very just a uh, good look, chiseled face, great a uh, great uh, sunglasses glasses. are dope. Sunglasses, sunglasses are dope. Looking really good. Where is he going? Like it, <laughs> he gone. looks like he's, he's going to work. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to really? go look in the mirror. That's what I would do if I looked like that. Uh, um yeah, and the little man purse. I I toiletry mean toiletry bag seems to be the accessory just to to show off a little bit. Once you get out of the car, and these are MLS players, so get out of the Uber. I don't see you with a little clutch bag. I couldn't do it. You know, no. I have one with a handle. Yeah, I mean, if my dreams, long. if my Messenger, dreams came, I, I, backpack. Then you see the boobs. If my dreams came true, that. he would have that stuff. I mean, it would be great. Just to, my wife has tried. She's tried multiple <laughs> times to get me a little toiletry bag. Can't do it. Next up, this is Chris Winger. Uh, he's a player. He played for New York City FC. He played for uh, Real Salt Lake. I think he won an MLS Cup with Real Salt Lake. Long Island originally, but he looks like he's originally from Eng from Ireland. <laughs> Um, he looks very groovy. Okay. I mean, would I be happier if he was head to toe Gucci with, um, you know, charm bracelets and a big man purse? Yes. <laughs> you want? <laughs> he <laughs> looks. <laughs> treat yourself, MLS. Yeah. And Listen like, to Simon doing in. A big ink. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you, no, you like he, the, the neck fat tattoos? You like all that? Oh, I just want people to just go nuts. Go, go for yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but you being, want Takashi Six Nine to play yeah. for MLS? <laughs> All right, next up, this is Bradley Wright Phillips. Englishman. Dude. Englishman. The son of Ian Wright, if you remember from Arsenal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He right. plays for the New York How Red incredible. Bulls. incredible. I didn't know New that. Yeah. yeah. So he... Uh, he's number 99. 99. He goes by two nines. Uh, and uh, and this, is, this is a look. Uh, he's clearly in New York. Uh, and yeah, he was... Be posing uh, just he's in the middle of the street. It looks cool. Good. Yeah, super cool. Is it cool. Love it. Yeah, and he's a he's, he's two nines. Is that what you call him? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so he also he's also a rapper. He he does a you know grime. Do you know grime? The English know. rap. The English rap. Like storms. Yeah, it's like storms. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. gonna say yes. yeah. He's a he's a, he's a little bit of a grime artist. Um, does he have an English accent? He yes, he does. It's funny when they rap in yeah. South London accent. That's exactly what he has. He has mm. like a Tottenham accent. Actually, he's more like North London. Yeah. Next up, this is okay. This is Aurelian Collin, who plays for, also plays for the New York Red Bulls and is also a fashion designer. Fashion designer, AC Seven. Holy! So we talking crap. about he's more than just boutiques. This guy's designing his own uh, clothing. He's edgy. He's futuristic. He's French. He's, also. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look how fast I was like, oh, this explains it. Yeah. Um, and this is how French the, butchers dress. Like this is normal <laughs> for the French. People. I like the. You could actually do this look a very droopy goth. Yeah. Yeah. Like Rick Owens, I can't, you can. I it's a height thing. It's a height, it's a height thing. thing. Okay. I can't either because it would, it would, it's it a, would, it would, <laughs> I would look it's like a round, It's a round <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is also really in common with uh, Kai Kamara, uh, who is from Sierra Leone and currently plays for the Vancouver Whitecaps. Well, you know what RuPaul said? If you want to make more money, wear a suit. Okay. Doesn't matter what your profession. 
That's great I advice. Know. I tell Alexis just all the time. A bit hot. I'm gonna though, start wearing it? a suit up. I like hair. a man blouse, but yeah? I'll throw on a jacket occasionally. You they can throw look a jacket great. over this. They both look good. Yeah, th- that's. A, I think that is the logo for his uh, for his clothing line. That's the clothing. So this was the, I guess the the debut. Or the I'm going to have to do another book, like <laughs> about because I have some Galaxy players in there, but it's sort of a little token my inclusion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm starting to feel that. Like you missed right. out a little. Hello. Bit. Yeah. I, I mean, had no idea all this was going <laughs> on. Uh, next up, this is. Maxi Uruti. Uruti, this guy is the moment we said on Twitter we were gonna have a conversation about fashion, everyone started tweeting us about this gentleman. He's Argentinian, and apparently he does exactly what you want. He's got the <laughs> tattoos, he's got the Louis Vuitton, he's got this. I mean, this is like it feels and like he took this from your hand closet. Grenade? Like, what's that? For? Oh, that's uh, the Argentinians drink mate all day. Oh wow! Yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. That's the, uh, that's I love the it. Gourd. They uh, categorized as a hand grenade. That's a pretty cool. What's the stadium <laughs> called? The Bombonera. La Bombonera. That's yeah. where Boca Rivers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the, Boca Juniors. And wow, he sorry. plays for M- F- FC Dallas. Wow. I yeah, mean, so this is exactly this is what you asked for. <laughs> We're trying. Is this not what you asked for? This yeah. is also Maxi. Now he's doing he's doing the double Louis Vuitton. Same player. Right he's doing man bun too. Yes, like, which I, well, I did want to talk to you about. Yeah. because and, and what are your thoughts on this? Because there's not too many people that can pull it off. But it seems like the people who do rock it are, are incredibly successful people. Yeah. Well, I think anyone should have a go if they feel like it's free country. But here's the problem. <laughs> First of all, it takes two years to grow enough hair. So you have that intermediate period where you look like a Victorian washerwoman. (laughs) (laughs) Then, once you've got enough hair to start dragging it back into a man bun, two words to strike fear into any man's heart. Traction alopecia. Okay. Yeah. If you keep yanking your air back, it, you know, you... Y- yeah, yes. you're going to start losing Start weakening the traction joints. Traction alopecia. <laughs> I've never heard of traction alopecia, but I can tell you, cold sweat is what I heard. <laughs> I will say one thing. I know I'm not a fashionista, right? But as someone from the East Coast, you can't do white Tims, okay? <laughs> white Tims are for the girl who has three boyfriends and all of them play in the NBA, okay? <laughs> you cannot... And they don't know about each other. You cannot so, do white Tims. Come on, man. Yeah, right. Yeah. You got to go wheats. Are you genderizing him? <laughs> What's the wow. word? <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. As a cis male, I am so sorry. <laughs> I apologize to everyone. He looks like a sort of troubled poet. Like he, he does. He looks great. What a great what I love a great... his look. See, my thing is you just look like different. Look like yourself. Look like something. On, like he's got a lot of personality in his look. He stands out. He's yeah. really thinking about something. He's pondering right yeah, there. He's upset about the lyrics he just wrote for a singer-songwriter. <laughs> this is Zach Stein. And he's the goalkeeper for the Columbus crew. Let's start with the Sox. The Sox were the first thing that jumped out. What are we thinking here? Well, I think, see, that's a good example. Footballers have this innate flamboyance that comes out. You can tell them to wear your flannels, wear your gray suit, shut up, sit still, and then bingo, colored socks or ink like (laughs) here. You know, so I love that, that they, they look for ways to sort of upstage their the regulations right. that they're surrounded with. Sure. Two backpacks is a mistake, young. though, right? You can't go two backpacks, and they're kind of pedestrian-looking backpacks. Oh, it depends what's in them. You gotta right? go like, yeah. you gotta He's go bringing duffel. snacks for the other lads. And, <laughs> right? I like that you put snacks in there. As a big guy, I'm kind of happy. This is also, and this is Kai Kamara again with uh, a former player uh, who currently works for MLS. This is Kaylin Carr. Uh, but I did, I, I picked this photo because uh, uh, Kai Kamara is from Sierra Leone. I felt like there was a very... African kind of style in the, in the undershirt. Yeah, a little caftan detail. Okay. Um, no, he looks great. He looks fantastic. I'm going to walk into oncoming traffic. <laughs> Why don't I have yeah. these people in my book? <laughs> they're, they're pretty good, right? We've got they're some. so great. Just a couple more. Uh, this is David Villa, who is not... Oh, obviously, hello. Yes, uh, you know, European, but, you know, currently playing in MLS. He's in New York. He's he, in this picture with his wife. Very furry, yeah. furry neckline. He took part of her coat and put it on his. <laughs> is that nice? But we love David Villa. But uh, yeah, w- any thoughts on this? Uh, on this you know one? what I like about it is that it's like it's all the same kind of color. It's like kind of monotone, but it's really flashy up top. Yeah, like he's gone for the donkey grayish beige, <laughs> yeah, sham beige, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> kind of look. Um, a lot of my clothes are like that too. For he, stage, you want them to focus on your words. He's being a gentleman because you know what they say in ballroom dancing. The man is the frame and the lady's the picture. Mm. So he's not upstaging the wife. He's letting her have a little moment. The minute she's gone, he's going <laughs> to 
<laughs> yeah, that's that is absolutely lovely. Uh, all um, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, just a couple. We have about three more. Uh, so this is uh, an NWSL player. It's a Sarah Gordon. She plays uh, for the Chicago Red Stars. But I, I did want to ask about just even just your thoughts on, you know, we talk about uh, male footballers and their pressure to be, uh, you know, sort of uh, get sponsorships and, and look good. But I feel like there's a, a stronger pressure on the female players because there's less money to be made. So they have to do the endorsements. And she does do it. She's a great player. But, but she's also like, Basically a model as well. And it's but that's, if you look at this, this is like athletic, but still has sex appeal, right? I mean, that's midriff. She's got nails, but she's wearing Jordan sweats. Um, and she's a gorgeous girl. She's rocking the nails, which is a bit um, on the pitch. That could be a bit <laughs> of a problem. Issue, yeah. um, no, she looks fantastic. You know, my sister is like an ardent feminist, and she's like was saying to me, why haven't you included girls in your book and um i had actually written a whole chapter on girls but it felt like i was shoehorning in a token right you know, yeah. that's a whole other book because look how fabulous so a whole other book okay an mls book and a lady book yeah and wsl book i mean and also this is just her instagram photos i mean this isn't even her on a red carpet <laughs> or anything so i i what, did want to show so this is dom dwyer uh, who played currently plays for Orlando City and played for Derby County. He's an Englishman. Really? Yeah. And Sydney LaRue Dwyer, or his wife, uh, who World plays Cup for winning. The World Cup winning with for the US team, team and plays for the Orlando Pride. Uh, and they are like this is like the they're like the modern family of American soccer. They're the Jay Z and Beyonce of soccer. Yes. And they on, on social media they're just absolutely lovely. Uh, and they also have uh, a family. They have a new baby boy, right? <laughs> so this is a, a fun thing. This is Jasmine and Aladdin, Dom Dwyer as Jasmine and uh, Sydney LaRue as uh, uh, as Aladdin and their baby Cassius as Abu, right? <laughs> so, uh, so I just wanted to show, just to give Sense a background. Sense of humor, uh, love it. They do this a lot on social media, they're great. I think the pressure on girls and boys now is this pressure to be exemplary. You know, to be a role model, it's very real, that pressure. You know, I mentioned it a couple of times, but it's a real pressure for young players now. They can't be those reckless Gazers and Tony Adams and all those you know, 90s, 80s, 90s English players. So, like, um, you know, I, I'm sympathetic to that. I'm glad I don't have those kinds of... <laughs> I don't have to be... Do you have to be a role model? God, no. I mean, have you heard the show? I mean, if anything, <laughs> I let you know right out the, ga the, ga the gate. I'm, I'm not. completely inspired, rushing off to my agent to get another book deal. All right. So, um, well, I, I hope we can help make that happen, right? Well, so congratulations they, to us, so huh? We, we, we <laughs> broke oh, the deal. There's so much money to be made in books. <laughs> oh. Wait till you get a podcast but I did about want to <laughs> I did want to focus more on uh, on the next photo because this was this is not really focused on in, in the book necessarily, but uh, Cassius himself is quite the style icon. This is the child himself. Oh. He is quite the fashion icon already. And he, he is balling, baby balling, <laughs> and glam rock. Yes. the lightning bolt, the stars. Um, I love that. What a great family. The little and scully. Somebody's bringing back acid wash jeans in the background. That's Dom Dwyer. That's dad. Dad. <laughs> dad. Um, uh, and then this is the last look I wanted oh. to show you. This is just the cutest kid in the world, but he's out, he's out uh, uh, shining his parents. He's got more followers, probably. <laughs> so he's he's well. so great. Oh, they have to have a lot more so they can dress them all up. <laughs> what, what's a cute little kid? Uh, now is I he hope wearing my wife plus fours? This. You know, like, like um, Knickerbocker's that famous manager of... Used to wear those Buckley for um, yeah 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 the uh, like the knee pants just below yeah. the knee yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's the gaffer Cassius right there yeah. oh bless him <laughs> so yeah so I I did want I, I'm glad we can get we got to show you that a little bit and just to, to show you what's going on Brilliant. in America right in American yeah, soccer. Yeah.